Hi, Mall Walkers, welcome back. My name is Jill and this is Carolyn. We're from the Wellbeing Center and we're here to do some um, balance exercises with you to help you create good balance and stability no matter where you are or what you're doing. So let's get started. Here I have a band. You can use anything. You don't have to be a band. It can be a belt. It could be a string. It could be a lanyard. Just anything that is shorter width that you can hold on to. So we're going to take a nice deep breath and stand nice and tall. And we're going to inhale, bring our hands up to shoulder height as we lift our heels up off the floor. And then exhale, bring it down. So you can always use your kitchen counter. You can use a chair. You can use a bench if you're out at the park. Anything that's stable, you can use. Just make sure you don't use a chair with wheels because it'll go flying out from underneath you. So make sure you use something stable. All right, we're going to lift this up and let's try and hold this for just a moment. Hold and release. Lift it up and hold and release. You really want to keep your core nice and tight. So tuck your glutes underneath you and engage your abs. That's going to help you stay nice and tall. We're going to do one more and then release it down. Okay, we're gonna use our right foot and we're gonna step out. Just a normal step, like you're walking, you wanna step out using your band or your belt or the chair or bench. We're gonna bring our hands up, taking it up, releasing it down, lifting up and releasing down. So, you can make this harder or you can make it easier. It all depends on where your feet are placed. So the wider your feet are as you do this, the easier it is. The closer your feet are together, the harder it becomes. Okay, let's do two more of these. And we're gonna take it up and hold. So take it up, hold it. We're gonna turn to the right. Whoa, and bring it back to center and release it down. Let's do that again. A little wobbly there, but that's okay. You're really using your stabilizer muscles when you feel that wobble. So keep your core intact, nice and tight. Turn, bring it back in, bend your knees just a little bit. One more time, off to the side and back in. Release it down. Let's take it up again. This time we're gonna add a little squat. We're gonna add four of them really. Take it down, lift up. Squatting down, lift up. Keep those hands just at shoulder height. Those arms might be getting heavy, but that's okay. Oh, let's do one more. And up, release the hands down, step back in. Let's roll those shoulders out. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna step out. This is just a normal step like you were walking. Step out and then we're gonna lift. Lift up or hold on to the bench. Hold on to your chair. Lifting up, engage your abs. Think about where you're looking. You want to look up, pick something across the room, across the park that is eye level and gaze at that. You don't want to gaze down because that'll round your back. And if you gaze down, you have more chances of falling down. So look up. All right, we're going to add that twist. So take it up. Let's twist to the left and then back to center. <laughs> so one side's often easier than the other and back to center. And again, where you have your feet makes a big difference. Lift up, twist, back in and down. One more time, lift up, twist, back in and down. 
Let's do that squat. You ready? Yeah. I know, I'm wobbly on this. <laughs> Take it up. Little squat. Back up. Do it again. We got three more to go to make it even. One, two, and three. Good job. Release it down. Woo! Grab a drink if you worked up a sweat on that one. I know it's really getting hot out here, but it feels good. So we're also going to do um, some side to side with um, a little lift in it to work on our balance. So this helps you find your balance when you're moving. So we're going to do side lunges. We're going to go to the right and then we're going to lunge to the left and then we're going to tap our toe and stand up nice and tall. Again, engage the core for your stability. And then let's go to the other side. Left, right, stand nice and tall. Okay, let's go to the other side. Right, left, stand nice and tall. If you like, you can lift your foot up off the floor or you can just tap your toe. Woo! And then the other side. We all need to work on this at every age, right? Left, right, tighten that core, stand up nice and tall. One more time on either side, right, left, stand tall, left, right, stand tall. All right, release it down. Let's do a yoga pose. A yoga pose is the tree pose. You want to stand up nice and tall. You want to take your right leg and open that hip up and rest your heel right on your ankle, okay? You can bring your hands into heart center. This is a great pose to do anywhere. You can do it while you're washing your dis dishes. You can do it while you're waiting in line at the grocery store. You can do it while you're having a conversation with a friend. It really makes you think about your balance and stand up nice and tall. So rest that heel there. If you want to work on making a little harder, you can lift your toe and then release. Lifting that toe and release. Lifting the toe and release. One more time. Lift and release. Let's go to the other side. So same thing, open the knee up to the side, rest your heel on your ankle. Again, you can bring your hands into heart center. This is a great place to be. Good thoughts come from the heart. And stand tall. We're gonna lift the toe and release it down. Lift the toe and release. You wanna try and hold this? You can hold it or you can let it down Move within your boundaries, move within your limitations. You may get a little wobble, but that's okay. Your muscles are working to stabilize you and release it down and just shake it out. So we're gonna do it one more balancing um, exercise and it's also a yoga move. It's a warrior three. So some of you may be intimidated by that, but we're gonna give you modifications. So I want you to inhale, bring your hands up just at shoulder height, spread your fingers nice and wide, and I want you to tap your right toe back. So right here is a great balance move. All right, if you need to, you can hold on to the bench, hold on to the chair, and we're just gonna lift that back leg. Lift it up and down. Lift it up and down. Try not to bend at the knee, but keep the legs straight so you're lifting with the heel. You're really gonna feel this in your glutes and your hamstring. All right, if you'd like to go for the hold, you can go for the hold. And release, let's go to the other side. All right, so. Extend the arms up, spread the fingers nice and wide, tap back with the leg, engage the core, and let's lift. Lift and lower, lift and lower. 
If you feel any pain at any time or have any pops, please don't do this exercise. <laughs> so stay within your boundaries, work within your limitations, and do what feels good. All right, we're gonna do one more and release it down. All right, let's shake it out. So those are some really good balance exercises. As you grow older, you may notice that balance is one of the first things that you lose. So keeping that core nice and tight, engaging your abs, standing up tall, and watching where you're looking is really gonna help with your balance. So after this video, you can go to our cool down videos and some stretches um, and check out some of our other videos also. Thank you.